Hello lovely people, my name is Emma and today I'm doing the announcement for the second round of Springathon. I am so excited to be back here talking about Springathon again. This is a nature writing non-fiction readathon, but this is the second year that it's going to be happening and I'm just, I'm super excited to bring it back. I had such a good time last year and I know so many of you did. It lasts for two weeks and the only real challenge that there is is to read one non-fiction nature writing book. And the dates of the readathon are from the 1st to the 14th of May. Last year we had kind of five prompts which were different kind of specific areas of nature writing uh, whereas this year we've decided to go a little bit more creative with our prompts and we actually have eight but they're kind of like paired prompts so you don't have to do all eight. To be honest you don't have to do any of them, we're a very relaxed readathon but if you want to use these to guide your reading you could potentially aim to do like one out of each of the pairs. Our prompts are migration or home bloom or decay, forage or hibernate, and buzz or stillness. So we've tried to have them be pairs that sort of link in some way, maybe kind of opposites to each other or connected, and you can interpret these in any way that you possibly want. So buzz could be about insects, but it could also be a book that has had a lot of buzz on booktube, um, or that you've heard a lot of kind of hype about. Um, you know, migration could be about birds, but it could also just be about travel writing maybe, and the idea of moving. Any of these things as well can fit for fiction. It is not exclusively non-fiction. Like I said, before the only real prompt that you need to fulfill to be officially taking part is one non-fiction nature writing book so if you're somebody who is newer to non-fiction or you don't read as much of it this should be nice and relaxed for you so those are the prompts and don't worry i will be putting out plenty of recommendations videos um giving you my kind of ideas for what you might how you might be able to interpret these um words but we do have a bunch of hosts this year. So as well as myself, a returning co-host is Natalie from Curious Reader. This was her idea originally last year. Please do check out our channel down below, it's fantastic. And then joining us as well on, on Booktube, we have Doris from Aldi Books and Heidi from My Reading Life, both of which are huge non-fiction nature writing readers. Totally please do, do go check them out. And then on Instagram in particular, we have Juliana from Blank Garden also joining us. I know Natalie's gonna be super active on Instagram. I don't know about the other two, but everybody's um, kind of Instagram accounts will be linked down below. Please don't worry about me for Instagram, I'm not a bookstagrammer so don't worry about joining my one. Um, we also this year have two group books which can be really exciting. One that fits more directly with the uh, readathon and kind of a little add-on. So Heidi and Doris actually host the book club Book Naturalists which is focused on reading nature writing and non-fiction books so obviously it's a perfect fit for this readathon. So the two books that they are planning on reading in May anyway are The Way Through the Woods by Long Lit Woon. This is the one that actually the timings line up really nicely with Springathon. So this is the like official sort of Springathon group read. And this is a memoir about a woman who um, when she experiences grief through the loss of her dead husband, she ends up kind of getting really interested in mushroom foraging and it's about her really kind of finding peace and solace through like interactions within the wood and looking at the kind of the mushrooms. If you're somebody like me who's not the biggest fan of memoir in the world and you want something a little bit more sciencey based, then the other um, book that they have for May that is not an official kind of book for Springathon, but if you want to check it out, it's Entangled Life by Merlin Sheldrake, which is a book on mushrooms again, but this one far more of like a referencey sciencey book, looking at mushrooms, what are they, fungi, how do we ca characterize them, what do they do on our planet, etc. etc. I am intending to read both of them um, for Springathon, fingers crossed, but I did want to mention Entangled Life in there in case you're a fan of my channel for more of the sciencey referency books over the memoir that I know a lot of people gravitate towards nature writing for. So I think that's it, should be a nice quick one. We will have a few video challenges and some other things coming out so please do watch this space and if you have found my channel through this particular announcement video please do stick around, I do read a lot of nature writing kind of sporadically throughout the year. Um, so yeah, so lovely to have you. So I do hope you're joining in, are you excited? Did you do it last year? Are you brand new? what's going on chat about everything in the comments down below and of course my tbr will be coming up very soon i am so excited i have been redoing my tbr since like january when natalie and i first talked about doing this again so i cannot believe it's on our doorstep it's only a month away have a wonderful reading week and i will chat to you soon bye